Uh, All righty, welcome back everyone to the losers uh, bracket no round no four match between Aura Esports and Phoenix Esports. Right. Now we do have hard point no, slums up first. Now I believe Dr. Curry, you are still with me. You still there, Dr. Curry? Yeah, I'm here. Alrighty, so we are starting up in this matchup. Hard point slums between Aura and Phoenix Esports. Now there was a little bit of a the, the, the debacle earlier on with uh, you know Phoenix not having enough members, so they are now using Trent. Now I'm not too sure if they can do that or not, but it, it seems like both teams have agreed anyway. So regardless of that, we are starting up on this one and we'll jump on board with the man of Kui up first. And then I'll leave it up to you, Curry, to start things off. I said we'll jump on board with Kui. Kui went big last series up against it was in fact, actually, I forgot who it was. But anyway, he did do an amazing job running the flags up against Kui Grace for sure. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But it is Hardpoint Slum still on the Slum's rotation, and then we'll have a search and destroy later on CTF, and then it goes back through the rotation. It's a best of five series, ladies and gentlemen. So it just three wins, and you walk away with the victory. But on each team, we got Aura Esports, Mindfree Kui, Luke 80, Luke 69R, or just Luke, Dennis, and then we got Damage. And on the opposite side, we got Force, Rainbow, Mental, and Trent as a villain. And that, is, of course, is for Phoenix. It, what, what's their name? It's Phoenix. Do you know exactly? Phoenix Esports, sorry. I believe it's Phoenix, Phoenix the Turtle. And uh, you know, their, their original team name okay, is. Okay, well, it's going to be the Phoenix Turtle. Eternal. will be the opposite team. That's going to be Trent, Mental, Rainbow, and Force. And as of right now, you're just seeing both teams just fight over for control of middle map. As they're just going to really be trying to, you know, push those anchor positions and just set up nicely for next. You just did see scrap time given in that middle hard point, and as of right now, it looks like Phoenix, they don't have the good spawns. But Trent pushing it very aggressively. He's on a full, full kill streak. Trying to make a fight, but only getting hit marks. Play inside the hill. They're going to try and contest him with the help of Force. But players exchanging shots around the place. Hit fight all around the corner, but runs out somehow. But still managing to pick up that health storm. Missile is very close to that lightning strike. Can he end up picking up Kui there? Unable to do so though, as players just throw themselves point. into the hard point right now. The scores are even, uh, almost equal We're there. Sorry, just fight. damage. Just jumped in there, did see him coming. As there's still 25 seconds on the hill, and it seems like each team they're going to start to rotate over to next and force will pick up the final few seconds. And it seems like Phoenix are starting to walk away with a little bit of a lead here, as they do have spawns and setup for next hard point. Exactly right, but with that 10 seconds. From that previous hard point, they should be able to even things back up. But as you mentioned, We've they do have control. what looks like a good setup for this next one. And Rainbow, does he get his streaks? No, he was so close to it. He was on a 5 to 6 kill streak. Unfortunately, it was only one, you know, like a sister away from that first kill streak. Of course, the Hailstorm. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to collect. But we have one man back pushing down on this fountain. He will get taken down by the man of Rainbow. As Luke will clean him up and Force will take out Luke. But Damage will take out Mental and it's still in control of the team of Phoenix Esports. Now it's all about if they'll be able to hold tight to, you know, just get the win for these guys. We do have Trent currently in the hard point right now with the MSMC. He does have the Hailstorm to use and he's really close to his Lightning Strike as well. Can he get the double? Gets one, gets two! As Mental will also get a kill on Kui, but Denz will just go in there, take out Trent. But still, the Hailstorm, the Lightning Strike, and Wall will be the Sentry Gun as well. Nearly did in fact pick up that Sentry Gun. Managed to get the Lightning Strike, overlap that Hailstorm, but that's not his biggest issue. It would have been very good if he managed to get that Sentry Gun, but unfortunately unable to do so. But right now, Force is on a fourth score streak. He's going to be inside the hill, running objective for his team. He is one kill away from picking up those first two sets of streaks. There's going to be plays out the front. Hit markers through the wall. He has to jump out of the hard point. Not too sure what he's doing here. They need all the time they can get. As Trent was a massive two piece, but gets shut down by Demizan. And Force is just trying to patrol himself. Finds a player, but has to avoid the syntax. He is dead red as players are just trying to throw themselves in. He ends up picking the kill. Extremely close to that war machine. Can he take out Kui? But Kui, too strong of a shot there, unfortunately for him. It seems like he's going to be pushing up right now, and it looks Hard like inside contested. the hill is going to be Luke. Luke gets absolutely destroyed by Trent there. Just Hard got panic knifed ours. in the face. And damage as of right now is also going to be doing some OBJ work. But 50 points separating the two teams right now. Both of them just trying to get time in this hill. But it seems like so far, the squad for Aura Esports, not the same team that we saw previously up against Coop de Grace. 
They of course did end up taking it pretty to nothing. But right now Phoenix are doing an amazing job as he comes with score streaks from Force trying to shut down the players on the rotation. Middle courtyard area, and here comes Rainbow. Rainbow That's unable to do so. And Luke did just pick up score streaks. Very interesting. He did get that lightning strike and Hellstorm combination. Hard unable to do down. so to get that Hard sentry gun. But right now, the hill is getting contested. Damage, big two piece. And his teammate giving him some support. And Meister, the scores are almost there. You know. There's a little bit of a difference between the two teams, roughly 40 points separating them, but that's just one kill locked down and you can easily be back into it, so as of right now, either team could possibly walk away with the victory. Exactly right, as I was looking around for these guys, see if anyone else has streaks. We have Trent 2 with that Hailstorm, we have, I believe we have Force with the Lightning Strike, and we have Damage with the Hailstorm and the Lightning Strike. So basically you have the same kill streaks across for each team. And it is 116 to 92 at the moment. Still five minutes remaining, still plenty of time to make something happen. But you know, hard point identified. This next hard point Hostiles going on, it do seem point. like the team of Phoenix do have a good setup going, do they? But hard Damage just on. managed to just jump in there. Hard point the whole team before it's managed to get a really basically uncontested. As they're just trying to set up, going to get a good setup going on for this next one. Team of Phoenix are forced advised, to push through that blue side. Killstreak's going in from the man of force. will pick off a double and hopefully should allow them to get control of this hard point. And that they do flip the spawns around. And with 30 seconds, if they manage to get this whole 30 seconds, they'll have a nice lead to go over into this dump hard point. You did say they will get the very nice lead, but they do, in fact, not have spawning for next, as you can tell. Aura already starting to set up for next one. Four minutes on the clock. It could go either way, but Phoenix are going to get the final time right now on that current hard point. Ten seconds until it rotates over to the dumpsters, or the, also known as scrap, whatever you want to call out. There's a million different call outs. As Rainbow gets the final time, decides to leave. Leaving three seconds, decide to rotate with his hard team. It's going to be Dennis in the current hill right now, predicting where the player's going to be. But here comes the Hellstorm missile coming down from Trent. It's going to take out the anchor there. You're going to start to see a fight for the anchor there. But no one was there to take it up, so I'm not too sure what he was going for there. If he, you know, planned for one of his players to push up and take the anchor or what. But as of right now, Ori Esports, they have it locked down, they're getting some good time right now, and there's just players exchanging shots all around the place, but as I say that, it's not getting taken over. But Damage does have that lightning strike and Hellstorm in his back pocket as he decides to use that lightning strike as of right now, it's going to rain down on top of that hill, and he's going to be shooting the play inside laundry, but doesn't connect with any of the plays. I'm not too sure what he was going for there, but not exactly what he was looking for, as he was unable to get any of the plays from Phoenix off the hill, but he's still at the anchor position, Get finally getting some support from his teams right now, and it seems like they're gonna start to you know push over to get the final scrap down. time. Not too sure about that choice there. Could we get in the final five seconds? But it will, in yeah, fact, move into mechanic now. It's gonna be Dennis again, once again, going for the OBJ. We're picking up Trent in the middle of that graveyard area, doing a really yeah, job of shutting them out, trying to make it a double, but not strong enough to take out mental. Mental drops, unfortunately, also. Now, Force will be contesting yeah, the half point game here, Mark, because that's gonna be Luke. Luke was a big kill, contested. but unable to stay alive as that flat frag grenade ends up taking him out and spawning ages away as of right now. But look at Dennis still going off right now. He's on a free score streak and. Meister, the scores are still so even with 2 minutes and 20 seconds to go either way. Exactly right. We do have a couple of members of either team on this hard point. It's going to be the team of Phoenix that are going to take the victory over and regain control of this hard point. Ned going over there. There's one on member, one pushing it through window. And he won't be able to get the kill, but his teammate will clean him up. That's Trent now on the hard point. And 13 seconds to rotate back to the original. We already have them already trying to rotate over to this next one. We have Mental going around through jump up. And we do have Trent just getting the spawn there. Opening dump now, he will be pushing forward now into blue as Mental going to take out damage. And we do have both teams just really trying to fight over control of this original hard point. Trent getting a nice double there on Huey and Luke. And Killstreak's going in. We'll take out Trent and Rainbow. And we do have the man of Mental actually going in this hard point with damage. And damage gets the double. Can he get the third on the side? Oh. No, he can't, unfortunately. Mentor's going to get these points for his team. 35 seconds contested. left, and it is getting contested from the mechanic side. And Mentor playing extremely well to get a nice Retake double there the with tool. the Scorpion. But, you know, they just need to really clean up these points, and they'll be able to get the victory. I don't see it happening on this hard point, though, unless they get a really, uh, really good setup going. But, you know, it will most likely be at the next one, if not this one. 
you know what, I just looked at the scoreboard there and was less than a minute, it's unfortunately mathematically impossible. And I was actually just listening to Phoenix in the game chat there previously, and they actually got some great communication going on, and they know exactly where they are and where they need to be Never in terms of setting up. But unfortunately for Aura Esports, not strong enough to take out the victory, as in fact it will be Phoenix who do take map number one of this best of five series. Of course, you need three maps to walk away with the victory. And next, up next, we will have a search and destroy. Not too sure what the map will be, but I'm going to predict an express, Markster, possibly. Let me just check that one here, and it will be S&D Express. Yes, you were oh, right on that one. I am, I am part god. I am great at predicting them, but as was said, it's it your will first be one of the night, calm down. It's, 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 it's not the first one, it's actually been many predictions, but... You've we'll always had it, it wrong, okay? I, I haven't had it wrong, I've been working on it, I'm, I'm getting better. You've, you've been working on it, but this is the first one you've actually gotten right. Alright, alright, fine. I, I, no one's counting, but basically... I'm it counting. will be Search and Destroy... You're counting, of course you can. It will be Search and Destroy on Express, you're gonna see the teams starting to go into Party Chat or Skype, I think like Aura Esports, they're gonna start to go into the Skype chat now. But it will be Search and Destroy on Express. Search and Destroy is, of course, a one-life game mode. First to six, a possibility of going 11 rounds. You spawn in a 4v4, and if you die, that's it for the round. And, of course, there are two bomb sites you can plant at. It takes five seconds to plant. It's seven and a half to defuse with a 44-second timer. So both teams really got to do their work right now. As Aura Esports need to do a bit of a comeback right now. It's Phoenix on a little bit of a momentum boost coming into this Search and Destroy. As the players are just spawning in right now, and I would like to keep an eye on... I'm going to say Mike Kui. We'll go on board as Kui for the acquired. squad of Aura Esports. And Mike, so I'm going to let you kick it off for round number one of Search and Destroy on Express. Exactly right, and we do have damage picking up the bomb here. Kui's pushing through middle train. We have a couple fights going over on this middle A building. Now we do have Trent's going to take out Den's damage. going to take out Trent though, bringing him back to a 3v3 situation. Kui's now just trying to slowly poke out, just looking through the cracks of this train at the moment. Now, you know, he still hasn't seen anyone yet. As we look at the minimap, there is two on that bridge area. One's going on the flank though, and that's Luke who's going to take out Mental. Can he get the second one? No, he won't. His Rainbow will take him out. 2v2 situation. And they are just playing it really, really safe at the moment. With the team of Phoenix, they do have one at B and one at this A bomb site. As you can see, they're trying to get a couple shots off to the team of Aura. Bomb is starting to get planted. And the trophy system, they're just saving their on. lives. And we actually do have one of the members of the team of Phoenix actually trying to rub him around. Let's see if we can jump aboard with him. That is the man of force. And he's now in this bridge, just wrapping around behind them. Of course, it is still a 2v2 situation. Force does get taken down. Rambo's last one alive Finish in that 1v2. Spots one on that, that middle A building. And he's trying to get a couple shots off. Gets tags, but now they know where he's going to be wrrapping around. Back into lockers. Can he get the kill? No, he won't. He fires too early. Right, and he'll get taken round, down by damage. And that will become 1 0 in one. this SD on Express. Big kills there by Ori Esports. They need the comeback, of course. They just got a very demoralizing loss in the hard point at the hands of Phoenix. But now in the search and stroke, looks like they're making a little bit of a comeback now. You know, trying to get some, men, men, not much search of a comeback, but trying to get some momentum back in their favor. As they will now be on the defensive side, it looks like Phoenix, they're going to be grabbing that bomb, going straight down the guts of Express, heading towards that B-bomb side. Only two players will be there, but big kills exchanging, Kui with the hip fire, but yet unable to finish on the second player. Three on two situation in favor of Phoenix right now, as I say that damage ends up dropping, but he's getting shot from the side, ends up dropping himself. One player left alive will be Dennis. We'll have to go on board with him. He's in no man's land right now in the middle of the tracks there. Bomb game planted right now at B. He's going to be pushing up straight Bomb into a Scorpion Evo in hand. Bomb goes down. 44 seconds is the call. Spots the play right there. Long range. Scorpion absolutely destroys him now. He roughly knows the players in that booth area. Looks like he's going to be hunting him down right now. The call out would have been given. And he's going to jump on Superman onto it. Unable to connect. He's got the knife out. He has to go for the reload. And it looks like the player Mental is in no man's land. And unfortunately, Mental... He was in the back of that little box area. He was trapped like a bird in a cage there. Couldn't do much to defend himself. And Dennis there in Charges the 1v2 defuse. clutch. And the bomb defuse. Brilliant job, job by him and a wonderful comeback. Round. As Ori Esports ends up taking up round number two of the Search and Destroy Express. And Mike, what were your thoughts on that round? That was extremely nicely played there. But, you know, at the end there by Dent. 
playing extremely well to get that kill, just originally wrapping around Force on the top of that sign, point. and then going back to just see, he, he knew whereabouts he would be, and that's normally the most common spot where people like to go, but 2-0 the, the score becomes, and it will be Aura's attacking round at the moment, now we did see a very strong play there from, you know, last time, but then they did choke it at the end. Well, they, they did choke a couple of rounds at the end. They still managed to get the map. But, you know, maybe we'll see a repeat. But, you know, hopefully not, as they do seem to be playing strong so far. As we do on board with damage with the bomb, as Kui is going to take out Trent to make the numbers in their favor 4v3. Now, have destroyed your do have equipment. one on the top of their bridge now. He should have been able to spot that and call that. And there is also one on train tracks. So, they are trying to get a couple of shots off. Oh, and no, damage down. played that. It wasn't really the smartest play he could have made, I've got to be honest. But the other bomb is down in an awkward spot, and his teams need to be the ones to go and get it. You know what, just real quick, I'll switch him through the players there, and three out of the four players for Aura Esports are not running dead silence on their class. Kui, the only player Check person who was running it, but the rest of them are just running dexterity and extreme conditioning. The mission, and you're all I had remains. a look at also the other players on the opposite side, for Phoenix, they were all using Dead Sun, so I'm not too sure about that. But right now, Rainbow, last one alive in a two on one situation. The bomb is currently being planted at B as it just goes down at the hands of Dennis there. He's going to have to potentially take out Luke and Dennis to get the bomb defuse, see if he can get his own clutch. We just saw the previous round. We saw, in fact, that was Dennis who went big. But right now, Luke is in the middle of the map area just trying to scout out the player, but Dennis. Right on top of that B bomb site, just, you know, perching himself up nicely. Just spotted the player. What are you giving the call out? Your equipment and just nice to throw destroyed. that text in his direction. Rainbow has to go for something. Managed to take out one player. Can he make it a double? Yeg shots out from the top of the staircase. He's just somehow avoiding them. 13 seconds. Doesn't look like Dennis will challenge him, but he does. All right, we Not too sure that about that play, but it ended up working yet. out for him. For As in fact, one. it will be a 3 to nothing advantage to... Aura Esports doing an amazing job of taking out Phoenix, who did take out the hard point previously. And Master, you couldn't ask for a better start from Aura sides. Esports right now, especially on Search and Destroy on Express. Search and and destroy. as of right now, they have a huge momentum boost now on the defensive part, defensive side the of Express Search and Destroy. We got exactly the bomb. right. With that 3 0 gap, we are experiencing what we saw earlier, and Force trying to get a couple shots off. Through the smoke, unable to really connect as Luke's going to take out Mental Q. He's going to take out Trent. And Rainbow is going to get taken down as well by Luke. So just like that, it turns in from a 4v4 to a 1v4. And wow. bam. Round, but it's not just like that. Hashtag bam. 4-0. Force gets taken down. None of them drop. Extremely solid play by Aura Esports. You know, I, I didn't think the team of Phoenix expected Aura to be so aggressive straight off the bat, but we saw them going straight through the middle of the map, sides. playing it very defensively. Not defensively, sorry, very aggressively, and, and it destroy. paid out for them brilliantly. They ended up getting the round in a very dominant fashion, but now the spawns have flipped, and they will in fact Defend be on the, the offensive side. So it looks like the bomb carrier for the squad will in fact be damaged, but we'll go on board with some, one of the front, well, pardon me, one of the front runners. Dennis, he's pushing very aggressively, he's spotting a play on the opposite side there, only getting hit mark, he decides to call out that concussion, and Simtex doesn't connect with any of the players right now, as they know roughly where he is, Kui manages to take down Mental there, big kill, as player in the top office area, shots exchanging between them, Trent managing to take him out, the bomb is down top offices, hit fire going down by Dennis, somehow manages orders. to take him out there, and did pick up that yeah, health storm and bomb. lightning strike combination, he's just one kill away, from getting that sentry gun, which could be massive there, getting hit markers on the player there, and he gets the assist. Still extremely close to his score streaks. It's my friend Kui. Did pick up that bomb and will be now currently planted on A. Shots exchanging from the final player. Sentry oh gun, my god, Dennis just went massive then. That hip fire from the Scorpion just melted the player there and did pick up full score streaks. As you're watching the kill cam, uh, personally, I don't even think he shot him that many times, but apparently he did. I think Kui gave him some support from the side there, but five to nothing is time. the score. And Aura Esports just one round away from destroy. taking it as a clean sweep in Search and Destroy Express. Exactly, the <laughs> exactly right, sorry about that. Bomb Very much throat. But we do have the bomb being picked up by force, and it does seem like they are gonna be running through into this A bomb site this time. And regardless of which way they push, they really haven't had any success. They run round the way from getting, you know, a 2 0 deficit from them being down 2 0. They've already dropped two members. 
Damage, you know, took out Force. Damage now takes out Mental. Last one alive, he's in Bridge. That is Rainbow. There's one pushing straight up. I thought he saw him there through the smoke. You could definitely see his outline. But just like that, 6-0. That's really a one sided wow. scoreline. That's, you know what, it's... You couldn't ask for anything better right there. I think that was the perfect comeback that... Or eSport it needed after that and loss on a hard squad. point, which in all honesty, Stand they had it in the orders. bag at the start, but they ended up losing it in the end. And I think the 6 to nothing win really shows just how strong of a squad they are. Every single one of them dropping some pretty good numbers there, as we will be moving on to a CTF, and I am going to call it the map will be Raid from memory. It should hope it will be Raid or Standoff, I'm not exactly 100% sure. But whoever walks away with this CTF will have a 2-1 to one advantage. And then coming into another hard point could potentially walk away with the winner. Of course, he's going to be standoff on CTF. So the players just going to change around their classes. Actually, no. They're just going to jump straight on into it. Actually, they've cancelled it. it seems Maybe like they're, they're just baiting out. you. They're just baiting you. Everyone they're baiting me. They, they're doing it purposely. They're baiting me. And they're just going to change their classes around. Of course, whoever wins this map will have a huge advantage coming into the next following matches. As the scores are one to one, and Mike, sir, I'll let you kick it off with CTF on standoff. Yeah, and you know, definitely interesting to see which team is going to take this one out. It is one apiece in this map number three, and whichever team is going to take this one, it will just definitely influence the way the hard point after will turn out, in my opinion, anyway. Capture the objective. But, you know, we overall, go down to the wire. in, in oh, these oh, best of five fun. series, we actually haven't mm -hmm. seen one of these games really go to map number five. Uh, we actually, yeah, I'd have to agree with you that we haven't seen many of these best of five go the distance. So it'd be very good to see that. I think we actually haven't even seen a fourth map. I'm pretty sure they've all been three to nothing clean sweeps from each team. So it's good to see a little bit of variation from each team now is it's gonna be CTF of course CTF if you die there is a five second million mil there is a five second delay from where you were spawning you'll be all the way back on the opposite side of the map you want to grab the enemy flag and Our pull it back to your base to cap the flag there is no mercy rule down here in Australia so whoever gets the most flags will win if you have a tie in the end it will go to overtime it was overtime you can potentially if you cap the flag in the time the enemy team will have that much time cap the flag back or you can go to sudden death after that but hopefully we won't see that right now it is only round number one it could go either way so far as mental has already pulled that flag to to go back alley was it looks like he's going to get uncontested by any of the players he gains some support from his teammate that's going to be trent right behind him it looks like he should be able to run this flag all the way through the back of his map uncontested but there will be players swarming on him and it looks like luca he's pulled that flag for his own there he's going to be uncontested there too as the flag return was given, great plays going down by Aura Esports there. As it looks like it's going to be very hard for Luke to get this cap. Seeing so, so many players on the squad will be right there. And as I say that, unfortunately, he is unable to flag that cap, cap that flag. And did end up losing it. Marks and we saw two flags getting pulled to each base there. But neither team being able to capitalize and end up capitalizing. Exactly right. And yeah, really, what was that? We had one team going the whole way. Then the you know the other team picking returning the flag picking up their flag and then running the whole way and then getting taken down yet again that was just in two minutes and we still have three minutes left in this first half and Dana's then another flag. five minutes after so Across I really can't wait to see how this is going to turn out but you know secure. quick look at the scoreboard all the kills are sort of widespread throughout both these team members we got Rainbow pushing through this flag maybe no he was on his own flag but Our the icon had popped up taken. anyway but Luke is now going to pick up. The Phoenix Esports flag running through wood and he will get taken down. So it's still a 0 0 scoreline. Two and a half minutes remaining in this first half, and the team of Phoenix are trying to push forward. But it's just really, no matter which team tries to push forward, it's not going in their favor. But we do have Kui with some streaks in hand. He does have the Hailstorm and the Lightning Strike. Brilliant. If you get taken down, looking at just doing quick look through all the rest of them, it doesn't really seem like anyone else does have any score streaks, so they will definitely come into play later on. I just had a look at the scoreboard there, and it seems like a very even, all-rounded scoreboard in either team. All players are pushing out that far, or, you know, pardon me, showing any real advantage in terms of scoreboard and kills and death ratio. Oh, pardon me, but the flag has get 
being pulled by Mental. Mental's going to be running there all the way through the back alley, uncontested by no players. It will be player Kui on his back of his tail there, trying to stalk him as he does so, but it looks like he should be able to run this uncontested. There will be a player below him to his right, knows they're missing one, so he's not going to jump out straight away, but getting shot up from the side there. It looks like he's going to end up trying to contest him, but he's played this brilliantly, and Mental should be able to cap this flag, and that is going to be a one to nothing lead. Phoenix We've over Aura Esports, and that's a brilliant start for them. With less than two minutes on the scoreboard, that's exactly how they want to be, especially on map number one. And at this stage, it looks like it's going to be on the back foot for Aura Esports. They need to do something now. As Kui did pull in that lightning strike earlier on, but did connect with any of the players. Still has that Hellstorm missile in his back pocket, so hopefully that will give him more success. But, Mike Star, we just did see a flag cap being held against, uh, held for Phoenix up against. Aura Esports, and you couldn't ask for anything better, but if you were in the position that Aura Esports are in right now, how would you try to counteract that? Yeah, they've been playing, they've been playing well for the last four minutes, they still have 40 seconds left in this first half, they still have the second half to make something happen, sides of course will swap over, and they just really need to make sure that they'll be able to just stick strong and actually make expire. something happen in this second half, they're only one flag cap down, so it's not too bad. But, you know, they've just been wasting the opportunities that they've had. They've sort of been ruining the opportunities that could have been, and they just haven't been able to capitalize on any of their team pushes. Now, the team of Phoenix, they do look like they, they do want to get another flag cap as well into this next half. They want to get a couple, they want to get the lead. They're just getting a couple more kills as we look at the score. We've got Mental, Rambo, Trent, all on 10 kills. And we do have the last member Good on job, six. Grants now, for, the, for the, uh, the opposing side, we do have the Aura side. You know, their kills are a bit more widespread as well. I'll bring that up once I'm able to after this round ending kill cam. But, you know, the point of the matter is that they just need to play more as more as a team, more as team yeah, pushes like the Phoenix team were, and they'll be able to get those flag caps on, on the way. The but, you know, bringing back up that scoreboard, we've got kill with 15, we've got damage with 11, Secure and the Luke and Dents with 6 apiece. So it's still anyone's game at the moment. One flag cap isn't that big a deal, but it's all about how they're going to make a play in this second half. But straight off the bat, Luke does get taken down by the man of mental. And two of the members of Phoenix Esports are pushed down through the Petroside. And Denz gets the double to stop them in their tracks. Very well played by him. And I'll pass it over to you, Dr. Terry. It was a brilliant job by them indeed that first round. They did get that one flag out. They were unable to really get the second one. And flags were getting pulled all around by each team. But neither one of them able to really capitalize too well. But Phoenix did get one of them. Even though they did get the flag roughly three times all the way to their base. But Rainbow on a full score streak right now doing an amazing job. As I say that, he just gets taken out there. As the going board was forced, forced. It's getting him in the middle of the map though on the statue area. Doesn't know there's going to be two players right around him. Decides to wrap around but doesn't spot any of them. The call outs will be given right now. It's going to be, in fact, two players playing defensively for the Aura Esports. Manages to take out damage there. He's going to be actually extremely close to his score streak. So he's going to have to play for those he wants to support from his teammates. We're going to start to push up now and try and pinch the players that are remaining on the flag there. That's going to be Dennis there, but Dennis is able to take out Rainbow. Mental also answering back through Enemy flag a required. kill of his own there. As Kui, massive kill going on there, but Mental, he's pulled that flag and it looks like he should be able to run this uncontested. But as I say that, Dennis has also pulled the flag for his own team. As the Hellstorm missile comes raining down and he's going to unable to really connect with the flag carrier. Kui, a little bit misfortune there, as it looks like there's going to be massive kills going down. Luke choking that kill right there, as that was a massive, massive kill by M Mental there. He somehow was able to take out the player, they're not too sure how. But he's going to have support from his teammates. One player will be back alley. Kui, big dropped. kill there. He's going to try dolphin dive, but the unable to do so. Just putting a couple of shots into him, he was dead red, so very easy kill for him. As it looks like, Mikester, we will have a stalemate and a standoff. Standoff. Exactly right, steering my line out from in front of me right there. But we do have Force with one flag and we do have Dens with the other and they're just really holding off. One's at the back spawn, one's at top store and it's really just... Team of Aura need to make something happen. The Team of Phoenix, they have to wait two, 2 minutes 38 seconds with nothing happening, just holding, playing defense. They're more than content to do so. They're in the lead. It's up to Aura now to be the ones to make something dropped. happen. As I say that, they are trying to push forward here, but the flag has wow. been returned. They should be able to get this flag cap 
He's not really contested, just like that. Two nil score comes, two and a half minutes remaining, and Force has all his streaks. You know, Force, he did that also pick up that fifth deployment. player, that sentry gun, which will be doing a defensive job for his team, which is always what you want. Right at the back of the map, there's going to be watching over the flag there. And look at that, just cutting down one of the players there. But the flag carry is still able to somehow get away. It actually looks like Luke, he's going to be able to run this uncontested all the way through back alley, but players are going for the cutoffs are in set. That, in fact, will in fact be, I'll just switch on board, it's gonna be Trent, Trent trying to get him, but Trent choking it there, massive flag cap right there, but unfortunately the scores are still 1-3 to three in favour of the squad for Phoenix right now, if I was in orange shoe, I'd want to lift my game and do it now, because they really got not much time to potentially get two more flags and bring themselves back into it, and as I said, that mental, he's pulled the flag, and if he ends up getting this cap, that will be it, ladies and gentlemen. I do not see that much of a comeback, especially when you're four to one with one minute twenty left. And in all honesty, it looks like he's just going to run this flag easy as pie. Straight on in. The score's one to four. I don't see a comeback in order at all for this R Esports team. And Mike, you could ask for a better CTF for the Phoenix squad, and they're going to be coming into that hard point game, the hard point map next up, with a huge momentum boost. Exactly right, with 4 fight. 1 being the scoreline in the CTF. You know, they didn't play too well um, earlier on in the original uh, SD map, but the first hard point they were a bit shaky as well. They still managed to put up a bit of a fight, but now after this CTF, they'll definitely have that momentum, but you wouldn't rule out Aura Esports just yet. Of course, they did win the original uh, SD match. They didn't play you know, too well on the the hard point they did take a loss but they still put up a bit of a fight but it's all about on this next one which you know checking the map rotation and I accidentally closed it so that's always a great start but you know the next map will be hard to point on raid so sometimes it's the map sometimes it's just the game type just have to wait and see which it is for these guys and already another flag cap trying to be pulled for this one they're already one four to one they're trying to make it five to one can they do it yes they can there we go, 5-1 so to one scoreline, 2-1 one Phoenix start leading this matchup, and we'll be going on to a hard point on Raid up next. Yeah, that final flag was just salt in the wound, as you see, Mental, just giving you some teammates some support for him to run that final flag in, there was no reason to really do so, but they did so anyway, and as you said, we'll be going to hard point Raid, hard point on Raid is such an anchor dominated map, so we're going to see the it battle for the anchor is very order. dominant Jumping between base. the two teams. It's going to be very interesting. Have to keep an eye on that. But my start that does bring it two to one in favor of Phoenix over the squad of Aura Esports. Aura, they need to win this next map to stay alive in the series, or else they will unfortunately get knocked out and down into the losers bracket. And that's definitely a place you don't want to be. But if Phoenix do end up winning it, they will advance even further on and will have a chance to potentially walk away with some big cash and money prizes. We, of course, do only have 14 teams competing today, so a little bit of a low number, but still a high one nevertheless. We still have some great matches going on. It looks like the team are just getting ready, changing up their classes and just getting ready for the hard point raid. And Mike Star, as I said before, it's going to be so dominant to see the anchor battle that will go down. And from each team, who do you think will, you know, shine in this hard point? I'm going to be looking at... I, you know, I really don't know at the moment, but with this hard point, you know, I'm just going to be keeping an eye on damage. I'm going to be keeping an eye on Luke, and I'm also going to be keeping an eye on Trent. You know, they're just both... They're all, they're all good players, each and every one of these players on both teams. But, you know, I'm actually going to be keeping an eye on them up first, maybe to make something happen for their teams. We just have to wait and see, though. We are starting up. No questions asked straight off the bat. Now, for this hardpoint raid, map number four in this best of five series. 2-1, of course, being the score to the team of Phoenix Eternal. I'll now, stand down. It's a you know, draw. maybe some classes are wrong or something like that, but we'll be ending it back. Fixing whatever needs to be fixed, changing whatever needs to be changed, and then starting right back in here. Hopefully we can sort it out relatively soon. There's nothing better than getting straight into it, especially when it's going to be such an important game for each team. Of course, it will be hard point raid, as we've said several times. And then if we do see Aura Esports making a little bit of a comeback and bringing it 2-2, two two, it will come down to a final search and destroy. 
and from memory that should be on Meltdown, which will be absolutely amazing. I really do hope it goes the distance. But for now, we are stuck with the Hardpoint on Raid. Everyone's favorite map, apparently, and we'll keep an eye on those two players that you said before, but I really I'm want actually, to keep uh, an eye. Sorry to cut you off there, but uh, I'm actually going to jump on board with Mentor up first. Both in the chat said to watch him first, easy quad, so, you know, he's, he's going to be put under pressure right here. Yeah, he's going to be definitely trying to push the pressure. He's going to be pushing. It looks like Kui's going for a quad of his own, but Mental already getting the two. Can he make it the third piece Hard in the play? He's on top of the statue. That was Trent. And it's already starting to make headway towards oh, the to but... Oh, you know, you got to watch out for those grenades, bench. mate. He actually walked into Hard that. It was a gifted present, and he opened it a little bit too early. Ended up costing him his life there. As he's going to start to rotate over. Big he grenade, in fact, landing right on the lack of Kui there, and he's getting another kill. As Mentor's actually going off so far, doing an amazing job for his team. Doesn't have to keep that in mind right now. As it's going to be Luke and Kui running the OBJ work for Ori Esports. Good start for them. They nearly got 20 seconds lead, but it's only been a minute into the game. And 10 seconds until it rotates over to that Kitchen Hardpoint. Kitchen Hardpoint, one of the main, not so much major, but a more important hardpoint than you will see. As look at the shots exchanging all around at the top identified. of the laundry. All players just jumping around. Absolute monkeys and destroying each other as the heal is game for any round four, taking out a big two player there. As he's now going to have control of the hard point, he's trying to get some score line back in favor over his team, but loses it unfortunately. The fact that there's going to be Trent inside the hill right now doing an amazing job, gets shut down prematurely by Dennis. Dennis jumping in now, he's going to start to rack up some time for his team right now. Of course, the scores are very close still, but Mike, it's only the second hill, so as of right now, it could go either way. Exactly right. It's only been 1 minute 40 seconds of game time being played out. It is 51 to 19. Still out kitchen for another 20 seconds. And the team of Oro just increasing their lead with every second pass. 15 seconds till it rotates and they're already starting to try and rotate over. But the team of uh, Phoenix are already there set up and hopefully set up to stay and as if we do have one member pushing through gym we do have Trent giving a double on the Luke and damage and is contested at the moment but you know if they'll be able to take him out and there we go we do have mental just running straight through gym turning left and taking out Benz there as well. we do have another person coming through gym and he'll get taken out can he get the triple yes he can and he'll be able to get that one 70 points at 29 Phoenix Esports getting a couple more points under their belt. Still, of course, 40 seconds until it does rotate. And look at that. Mental on a four kill streak. Four extremely huge kills for him. Trent on three. And as we look at the scoreboard quickly, the only person that actually hit double digit kills is Luke on four kills. Hard point contested. Indeed, Luke is the only person. I was just switching through the players there, Mike. So, and only two players out of eight are using flat jacket. That's going to be Kui and Trent. So, those grenades are going to be so lethal, especially if they're trying to run OBJ. They're absolutely just going to destroy them. We've already seen some massive grenade kills getting exchanged between two players. And now the next hard point will be basketball. Basketball, you can get so hard much time off identified. it if you play it correctly. You're going to see teams already yeah. starting to rotate over right now as it did just switch over just then. Mental in the hill on the free kill streak. Kui from behind, managing to take out Trent. Then big kill there as Mental making some headway towards school streak there. As the player's going to be contesting him. Picks up the health up. Hill is getting contested, but unlucky for him. There was a player to his right there. It's just going to get thrown around. 20 seconds separating both of the teams. Anyone's game so far is mental. is going to be cutting straight through the middle of the map there. Unable to spot any of the players, unfortunately. This one has a hellstorm missile. Does eventually find Kui. Shoot him in the back there. Force will be doing the OBJ work. Inside the middle of the hill. The lightning strike will start to rain down on top of the hill. Somehow able to avoid it. In fact, not too sure what he's going for there. Because he didn't put any of them, in fact, on top of the hill. But the hill does get taken over. There's only 13 seconds left, I'm not too sure if that's a smart decision by Dennis and Luke, both of them pushing it very hard. They're trying to get as much scrap time as they can. Now with five minutes, less than six minutes remaining, both teams extremely close score lines, only roughly 30 identified. seconds separates them both. The so it could go either way, as Force will be in the hard point right now, just trying to get some team, trying to get some time. For Phoenix right now, shots exchanging all over the place, getting a big two-piece in fact, trying to make it a triple, but he's shut down prematurely. And it's going to be Luke jumping in now on a full score streak. He's picked up that Hellstorm missile, trying to make it, he's actually overlapped that Hellstorm missile. Trying to make it a lightning strike and sentry gun, and if he can get that, it will be huge. He did pick up a fury kill, massive four-piece by him there, so he'll contested. He's trying to spot out the player there, he needs to get the kill. 
as his teammate jumping on top, matching the do so, and he did just pick up full score streaks. And Meister coming into the statue with the 40 second advantage and full score streak. Trent was a massive three piece. Just as I say that, but he got full score streak. And Meister, do you want to just explain how important score streaks could potentially be on a map like Raid, where everything is so open? Exactly, Rubble. 125 to 91, 5 minutes remaining. And we do have damage currently with hard point identified. This next hard point is hard point setting up on it, and this 131 to 91. This is map four hard point raid, and mental getting the nice double there with those kill streaks. Now we do have actually Trent. Be advised, hard and point back now. Killers at the moment, and mental now. We do have him over near Monument. They're just trying to get a couple points here. One and a half minutes, of course, remaining in this one. 140 or 138, sorry, to 99. Makes it 100 as the team of Phoenix are just trying to get points on the board. They're always on the back foot on these hard points. They're, but, you know, maybe they'll be able to pull through later on in back as it has rotated over 20 seconds, of course, until it rotates back over to Kitchen. But, you know, I'm still on board with Rainbow as he's already trying to set up on next. Just holding this wheelbarrow. They are holding it down brilliantly, as you just said, holding that wheelbarrow area. It's going to be rainbow, as you said. Now they're going to start to rotate over the middle kitchen area, but already Clay is starting to set up camp in there. Trent is going off, and we haven't seen the scoreboard all game long, so Mark, so how about we bring that up right now? Look at Trent. He may be doing an amazing... He's actually doing an amazing job for his team. He may be dropping the negative, but seven caps to his name. You could not say anything better. He's just throwing himself in that hard point and doing hard a brilliant point, job. He's yeah. also getting great support from Mental. And on the opposite side, you got Luke also dropping some very solid numbers and nearly got the 40 bu 30 bomb going. So I have to keep that in the back of my mind. But he just got shut down by Rainbow. Rainbow, big two piece, but he's pushed up too aggressively. Unfortunately, I'm not too sure if he's starting to rotate next. Taking control. The next hard point or whatever he's doing, it's very questionable. But it seems as though Phoenix have made a little bit of a comeback now. The scoreboard only two. Seconds roughly separating the two teams Hard now with 10 seconds. Down. It's going to rotate over to Hard the garage area. You're going to see teams starting to push over to right now. And Mike Star looks like it's going to come down to the wire. It was three minutes left. Moving on to garage. This is going to be a close one, exactly right. And with 152 to 147, look how close these scores are at the moment. Phoenix, of course, the they were down by a good 40 points. They've managed to ca catch back up, and if they manage to hold this mechanic, they'll have a huge lead. Two and a half minutes remaining, of course, and it's really, really close at the moment. You have Rainbow getting taken down, watching this outside, though. We do have Force going to be rotating to cover that position, and really, all the members of War are actually trying to push forward now, and we have, do have Luke in these points, and he'll get the kill on one of them. Two pushing through Jim, he'll get another kill. But Rainbow will be there, this contested yet again, Nade going out to his right, shots going off to his left, and the 173 to 158, the score becomes, it will rotate over to basketball courts in a matter of 15 seconds, Mental has charged in to this hard point to just stop the team of Aura getting more points, and that's exactly what he needs to do. He doesn't need to get go for these kills, he just needs to hold them off, and then his team set up there. Hard point identified. As I say that, however, we do have the man of Mental. He's actually pushing through into this middle area, but he did hard get taken contested. down. And, you know, we do have Force, though. Gets taken down on this hard point. Team of Aura are actually trying to get more points on this basketball court. Now, if they do manage to hold this one off, they'll be able to take a lead into this one then it'll go over to mid and then that's where we'll get down to the wire but of course with that one minute 20 remaining they're basically three poor three points of difference two are trying to come forward one gets taken down there we go there's the other one is damaged right now in cube or in box or whatever you would like to call it 17 seconds left and it doesn't really look like anyone will be contesting as I said that's you coming from the front and they'll be looking to get these kills maybe not as one gets taken down can the second one now the third one and there we go he does have all the streaks and that's definitely going to come into play into this next matchup oh, yeah definitely 20 seconds coming into this courtyard area 
that lightning struck is gonna play a big deal as so just as I say that it's gonna start to rain down takes out one player doesn't connect with the third but sentry gun will go down right on top giving him a fifth player man support there as they do have control of the hill and it's gonna come down to the wire but that hellstorm missile might be make or break and it's gonna pull out the two remaining players but doesn't connect with any of them as unfortunately for Phoenix it looks like that will be it for them and Aura Esports with a big comeback there, they got the scrap time at the bottom of the basketball, exactly what they needed, and then those score streaks from damage just came into effect, did an amazing job, and they have ended up, you know, winning them the game, I'm willing to say so, as Kui gets the final kill on Trent there, massive job from Aura Esports, and brought it back brilliantly, and ladies and gentlemen, it will go to map number 5, which will be a search and destroy on Meltdown, whoever walks away with the win on that, We'll walk away with the victory. And Mike Stark, you couldn't ask for a better series so far. You know what? I couldn't, but even though we had this map five, I have to be the bringer of bad news. I've just oh, received God. word from the, the COD admins there that Phoenix Esports forfeit because of using Trent. Oh. Oh, no. That's... Oh, damn. I'll, I'll need to go tell them now in this game chat. But, you know... Okay. Um, I'll just right, let you well, keep talking. Alright, well, I'll keep talking then. Yeah, we can still hear you. We'll, we'll listen to you. How about that? I'll try to get them in to game. Ch Stream. Okay, oh, all good. So basically, um, guys, unfortunately, due to having the sub there for Phoenix, they do forfeit their rides, and which is a little bit of a shame. Really would have liked to see that map number five go down, but Aura Esports will unfortunately walk away with the win that's not the type of win that you want especially in the one day comp so a little bit disappointing to see that go down because it seems like mike's is just going to be explaining it to them but guys make sure you tweet out the stream hit me up on at dr underscore curry and make sure you head up hit up mike's to 94 at mike's to 94 we are the two casters we've been doing it all day and we love it your support if you want a little bit of a shout out just make sure you tweet at us always willing to do so and, you know, I'm, I'm just reading the comments in the chat, you know, it's, it sucks, guys. I, I know it does. It's messed up. But unfortunately for Phoenix, you know, you got to read the rules because they will make or break. And it's just very, you know, disappointing to see a guy like that. And I have to give credit to Aura Esports. So they brought it back brilliantly in that hard point. So if anything, they did deserve that win there. But it would have been nice to see it go the distance. And we'll just wait for Meister to get back here. As you're just having a discussion with a couple of the players, just explaining what's going on. And that will, in fact, I'm not too sure if that's going to make Phoenix forfeit the entire event, or the, not event, the entire uh, competition, or they'll just drop them down into the loser's bracket, and I'm not too uh, sure if Aura Esports will And uh, just to back clarify, back? I was, you know, hearing you this whole time, and, you know, they already are in the loser's bracket, so the team of Phoenix Esports have been knocked out of this competition. The team of Aura will go on to take on the winner of Hyperion and TC plus Fate. And, um, you know, unfortunately as things go, that's just the, the way the rules work. You know, you're not allowed a, a fill-in that isn't on your roster. Roster lock closed at 10.30 a.m. And that's just, you know, I, I did have my doubts earlier on when they first started this matchup. But, you know, like yeah. I said, I'm not a COD admin. I don't really know the rules the way they do it. As, you know, between games, the rule set changes a little bit. And, um, you know, I couldn't really give it a complete call. But, you know, no one really wanted to respond to me. But now that they did, we had to sort of end it, give them the win. And Aura will go on to take out this next matchup. Unfortunately, we, uh, you know, can't see a map five. Even though it finally went down to it. But, you know, maybe we next time. See it. Maybe next maybe time. Maybe next time, hopefully. But as you did say, we will... So the winner of the TEC plus Fate up against Hyperion will verse Aura Esports... So I'm not too sure. Um, is the map is the match between TEC and Hyperion underway right now? I believe it is. Now I'm not too sure what match it is up to, as it is on a pre-game lobby. So I'll see if I can message Ray, and you know we will just have to wait and see from there. But we'll take a quick break, just get a quick drink to to refresh our to refresh us really, and <laughs> we'll be back Definitely. soon with. Phoenix, uh, no, for, sorry, with Aura Esports taking on the winner of Hyperion, taking on TC plus Fate. But for now, stay tuned with a bit of music, and we'll be back shortly.